guys, it's Christmas time again, and it's one of my favorite times of the year. So in this video, I will be sharing with you some of the ornaments that I made to adding to my Christmas decor for this year. Now, three of those ornaments are Hobby Lobby inspired. When I was shopping in there, I saw some of the ornaments, and I knew I had most of the items are to create these ornaments already here at home. So I figured, why not? Because I love to do it. I'm a creator and I like making items. So come on in and let me show you some of the ornaments that I created for my Christmas decor this year. Now with this first ornament, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree Farm Balls. They are a lot smaller than the actual one that you see uh, in the f uh, video earlier. But you can easily go get a larger foam ball from a craft store. Now with these foam balls, you're going to have to use a low temperature hot glue gun. I cannot use my uh, cordless one here because it's a high temp because it will... Uh, burn through these balls so the low temperature hot glue gun and the low temp hot glue would be perfect for this project and also I'm going to be using white Chanel yarn the smaller uh, one as well as jute rope And now to complete this, I'm just going to cut a piece of the jute rope and hot glue it on the top to hang this ornament. And because these are smaller balls, they are not as large as the Hobby Lobby one. So I'm going to cluster them together and I'm just adding them to a piece of the jute rope to make it into a cluster. In here they are these are my four uh, balls and I thought they came out pretty neat and look very similar to the ones that are sold in Hobby Lobby now for the next ornament also I saw it in Walmart not just in Hobby Lobby and definitely these are the ones that gave me the idea that I could use items from around my home so these are decorative balls that I already had at home that was in this basket that I had displayed on my coffee table and I wanted to use these because they were just sitting here and I know I could use a few of them for this project. Well, the first thing I did was took some white Waverly chalk paint and I painted the outside of these but I realized the inside wasn't quite the color I want so I had to take some spray paint and mist the inside of these and once I did that I was able to put the fake snow on without using adhesive. Now you'll see with the next ball, it's darker. I didn't put any paint on it, so I had to use some adhesive spray to adhere 
the uh, snowflakes here. So I'm just using, I like the darker rustic look. So I'm spraying it with some spray adhesive and then dipping it in the snow, fake snow. And now I'm just going to add my, uh, these are picks that I got off of a next project that you'll see in this video. And I just recycled them and used them on for the picks on top of these balls. And here is the final look on these uh, this particular project I really enjoyed it and I love the way they came out because I didn't spend anything I had all the uh, items here at home to make it now with this next one these are at Hobby Lobby and of course they are the clear bulbs that you could get from the Dollar Tree so I went into the Dollar Tree and bought a uh, a couple of these to do this project and uh, th you can easily create this by using these balls some jute rope and a few items and fake snow to just drop in there and of course you can put whatever you would like in these balls and I'm going to recycle some of the items from uh, the rest of this video that you will see that I've used from some of the other ornaments that I'm making so the first thing I'm going to do is put the fake snow and I and glitter down in uh, these bulbs. So here I'm just going to add in all of my items to decorate this bulb. And of course you can add whatever you would like. Most of these items that I'm using, they are recycled from other uh, projects that I had left over. So to seal this, I'm using Gorilla Clear Glue and the hot glue gun and the clear glue is to make sure that uh, the top doesn't come off. The next step is to add the jute rope and I'm doing that with the hot glue and I'm starting around the top of my bulb the top rim of it and then I'm going to go ahead and take a black marker and mark where I'm going to stop it And once I finish adding the rope, I'm going to add in over the top my picks and uh, different pieces just to hang it and have it decorated at the top. And then on one, I added a larger piece of rope just to give it a different look. And these are the bulbs. This is one that I've hung on the tree. And here is the second one with the larger rope that I wrapped around there and I thought they were perfect and looked similar to the ones from Hobby Lobby. For this project I'm going to be using the form piece, the block that's here that I'm taking um, from this ornament. Now I'm just removing all of the items off of it and I will recycle most of it into other projects. I'm going to use this piece of material as my pattern piece to cut out my burlap for to cover the block, the form block. Uh, I wanted to go with burlap because that's the look that I wanted on this ornament. So here I'm just trimming it up and I'm going to hot glue it, wrapping it like it is a gift box. And I'm adding in some ribbon that I've had for a while. And I'm using this ribbon because it goes with the decor where I'm going to use these. And here is the final look after I've added in 
a little bit of ribbon at the top to make a decorative bowl. And I'm displaying them on my dining room table to go in with the decor on there. Now for this next project, I'm going to be recycling the buffalo plaid uh, material off of these boxes as well as using uh, this farm block from the Dollar Tree and some burlap from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to create miniature uh, gift boxes using this farm block. Now once I've cut these down to the size that I desire for the boxes to be, I'm just going to wrap them with the material that I choose. And as I said, I recycled this material because I wanted the buffalo plaid. And to get it off, I had to use my um, hair dryer. But I'm going to wrap it as just as I'm wrapping a gift and uh, hot glue it there. And then I'm going to add my topper. Uh, which is all recycled and I'm going to use jute rope as well as the recycled greenery from the other projects and here is the final look on these and I have them displayed in a sleigh that I have on my coffee table in my family room and under a few of the trees for that scenery here but you can also add jute rope to them to hang them on your tree now for the last project, I'm using these uh, snowflakes from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the uh, tinsel that's on there. And once I've done doing that, I am going to take them apart off. Uh, they're connected together, take them apart and spray them down with white spray paint. And then I'm going to use the snowflakes, fake snowflakes and use adhesive, spray them down and then dip it in the snowflakes. Add in some balloon curling ribbon to hang them on my tree as an ornament. And here is the final look on those. And as you can see here, I hung them in front of my pond setters that I have on my tree. I, that's the way I wanted to display them. And I thought they came out perfect uh, hanging them that way. So guys, that's my video on all of the ornaments that I created for this year to add into my Christmas decor. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can get future notifications on all of my videos. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did enjoy making these items. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.